Today we're going to discuss the differences between RTDs and thermocouples, comparing the pros and cons of each. We're going to look at the temperature limits, the accuracy, the durability, and the response times. One of the most important differences between an RTD and a thermocouple is the temperature range. Base metal thermocouples can reach 2300 degrees Fahrenheit, and noble metal thermocouples can reach 3100 degrees Fahrenheit. Compare that to an RTD that has a standard maximum range of 400 degrees Fahrenheit and an extended range of 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. Another critical comparison is accuracy. As a general rule, RTDs are more accurate than thermocouples. This is especially true at lower temperatures. If accuracy, linearity, and repeatability are your primary concerns, RTDs are a good choice. If you require a better accuracy than what you see here, check out the high accuracy option for RTDs or the special limits of error option for thermocouples. In the sensors industry, RTDs are widely regarded as less durable. This is primarily because of the thin lead wire that comes off of the RTD element. However, RioTemp has developed techniques that help to pop, position, and reinforce those lead wires to make them nearly equivalent to thermocouples. For applications with vibration present, check out our high vibe RTD option. RTDs cannot be grounded, which gives them a slower response time than a grounded thermocouple. Also, a thermocouple can fit inside of a smaller sheet diameter, and that smaller sheet diameter will give you a reduced response time. For example, a grounded thermocouple inside of a 1 16th stem diameter is gonna have a faster response time than an RTD inside of a quarter inch diameter stem. For more two minute tech videos and other great content, click on the subscribe button below. If you have any questions on thermocouples and RTDs, visit riotemp.com and click on contact us. Thanks for watching.